Hey, it's Don. I thought I'd do another uh, what sold on uh, eBay uh, video. Um, I'm going to show you some more things that we sold in the last month or so, um, and we will hop over to the screen. Okay, here's the uh, first item. Um, this is an Orvis. Um, I think everybody knows Orvis. There's the label. Um, extra large. Um, actually, I had this up for like two months it took to sell, but I paid like $2.99, um, so I'm not too worried. Uh, good profit margin. Sold for $75. Uh, next is the two license plates. I paid five apiece, so I have ten into the lot. Um, got $65. Uh, you can see they're old. They're 1921 and 27. Not in the best condition for the first one, but still, they did sell well. They sold very quick. Only had them up for a couple days. Uh, here's a nice postcard. Um, <clears throat> this one I actually took 60. I don't know why it doesn't show, but um, real picture postcard, circa 1905. Uh, Frederick, Maryland. Uh, I actually been there before myself, so a nice early scene. Um, these are what sells. Uh, as you can see, um, telegraph. Uh, postal Telegraph cables, uh, City Hotel, a real nice one. Again, I got 60 out of it. Here's a Harley shirt that I had talked about before. I got 60 something out of this. Uh, the 3D emblem is what you want to look for. Uh, you can see the logo there on the bottom right of the shirt. I got 60 out of it. Um, I usually put higher and take whatever happens. Um, I felt that was a good uh, profit margin. I think I paid 95 cents for the shirt. Uh, here's some jewelry. I paid five bucks for the set. Actually got it at a garage sale like six months ago. Um, took a little while to sell, but <clears throat> you can see what it went for. Nice costume jewelry. Uh, it's actually metal with um, like an enamel paint over it. Um, these kind of things sell very well. They look cheap and pretty much like kids, but they're probably 1930-ish. Uh, nice quality piece. Here's a lot of 14 co-cats. I believe I paid like three or four bucks for the whole lot. Um, actually, they were a quarter a piece now that I think about it. That's what I paid, a quarter each for them at a garage sale. And again, this is a while ago. Um, you see I got 57 out of them. Um, good deal for me. Plus, they paid shipping. Uh, here's a tobacco card, um, 1880s, William Duke and Sons. Um, you can see the size. It's about just over uh, two and three quarters inch, just uh, over an inch and a quarter across. Um, these sell very well. I've sold hundreds and hundreds of these uh, just last year alone. Um, they're big sellers. I get them in bulk from sometimes from uh, auctions. Estate uh, sales are very good to find these at. Um, good, good money makers. Roller skating labels. Um, these I sell all the time. I Nine out of every ten roller skating label you see online are mine. Um, <clears throat> I get thirty-four fifty for a bunch of them. Uh, and then they go down from there. At least I usually sell them for about $14. I have probably 1,200 of these, uh, maybe more. Most of them aren't up. I think I only have about four or 500 of these up. Um, I pick them up constantly. I get two or three of these every single week, probably more than that. Some weeks I get 30 or 40. Um, good money makers for us. Paper, I, as again, I sell ten, twenty thousand $20,000 a month average in paper. Here's another record. Uh, this one was only up for, I want to say, three days. I had to pull it down real quick off of the other sites. Um, that is what I got for 110 I paid a dollar, as I always do. Uh, this is a promo early uh, country rhythm and blues. Um, good record, good condition. Another record, Hank Williams. Uh, this one was up again two or three days. Uh, the condition is less than I would expect to get this much out of, but it sold right off. Uh, top dollar, <clears throat> nice 78, paid a dollar for it. Another postcard, um, you can see the price. Uh, it's a baseball team, sold really quickly. Uh, this came with a, oh geez, I think I got a stack of these at an estate sale or somewhere. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's an estate sale purchase. Again, I probably paid 2 or $3 for this one. Uh, you can see what I got for it. Now, these I've had, I don't know how many of these. I usually pay 3 or 4 bucks for them. Um, I actually snapped the little ribbon in the back so it doesn't spin anymore. But uh, it sold, um, I think I got 75 out of this. Um, I only paid 2 or 3 bucks, as I said. Um, these sit there for a while. I had it for 6 months. But again, I, I got 75 out of it, so... Even if these didn't work, um, anything that has the German company name on it, or you know, at least Germany, you can get 15 or 20 out of the brass workings. Just sell them on their own as scrap parts. 
Um, I do that all the time. Broken clocks, I pay a dollar or two for and take out the parts. Even just in scrap metal, there's more brass in it than what I paid for it. So uh, it's a nice item. Um, here's a tag for glasses, 1910-ish. Uh, um, these sell very quickly. I've sold every one I've listed. This same person bought, I think, like eight or nine of these for $17.50 each. Um, I took a best offer on that one. Uh, again, these used to tell you what the exact sale price was, but um, I'm not going to go up so you can I don't want you really seeing the uh, people I sold to. Um, but anyway, um, that's their own information. But these sell really well. It's a little small tag. Got it in a state sale in a little bag. Sheet music I sell a ton of. Um, you see I got 40 bucks for this one. Um, I sell, I don't know, two or three a week minimum um, every week. Uh, I buy them and buy the hundreds. Sometimes I'll go to a church sale and buy a huge tote, maybe 30 pounds of this. Um, I'll sort through it, chunk most of them, just donate them back, and then uh, sell the better ones. Um, this one here, David Wyden, Weidman, Weedman, however it's pronounced. I've had three or four by him. The, you can pretty much always tell. It was actually hand-signed in pencil on the front. Um, <clears throat> I think I paid a dollar or two at a garage sale. I sold them all around 70 to 100 bucks. the three or four that I had. Um, the big sellers, I think I sold them within two weeks, too, so really quick mover. Here's another 78. Um, this is an early Paramount Pictures label from circa 19, I don't know, 15 to, well, it's dated 13 on the bottom. That's actually just a patent, but I would say 1915, 1920-ish, these were made. Uh, nice early jazz. Annette Hanshaw. <clears throat> you can see it went for eighty-seven fifty. I had this one up for a little while. Um, it took four or five months to sell, but again, I pay a dollar, so the profit margin's there. Um, this is a paper toy. I sell a lot of these too. A um, couple paper toys a week. Um, it's for Lion Coffee. Um, it's a local company, so I see these at state sales, garage sales, even all the time. Um, but eighteen fifty. It has a hole. It's worn it's from eighteen nineties. Um, they're, they're good items. I've probably got another 10 or 15 up now and probably another half a dozen or more sitting in a box to list. Here's a die cut circa 1890s. 1850 I got out of it. Um, I buy whenever I see these. Um, I'll snag them up. Here's a nice Christmas one. I've had four of these in the last year. Um, I average 75 to 125 on these. Uh, it's just basically a Christmas card, nothing on the back. Um, it's it's a nice item. I sell them all the time. Okay, this is um, Raphael Tuck. Anything Raphael Tuck sells um, pre-1920-ish through 1870s. Um, this is 1880s, 90s. It's a die-cut whole sheet. Um, as you can see the size, it's a fairly large one, but uh, 75 bucks. It was sold within probably two days of being up. Here's another little item I sold. It's a small little box. It has griffins on it. That's pretty much what sold it. All inlaid, um, very early, 1890s probably. Uh, $34.50 I got out of it. Here's a brand new chap shirt I got. Uh, this was up maybe a day, um, and it sold $37.50, new with tags. I got it for about $3. Bucks. Um, here's a tobacco card. You can kind of see the size. Um, Hills, not a common one. Orphan Boys, the tobacco company name or brand, fifty-seven fifty. That was a quick sell. Um, I see these all the time. Uh, these are brand new. People pass them up because the bottoms of the pant legs aren't sewn, but that's the way they're issued. So you can sew them your own size. Thirty-four fifty. I want to say I spent four bucks on those at a garage sale. Um, another postcard. Um, this one sold fairly quick. Forty-five bucks. Uh, real picture postcard. Here's an autographed poster. This is by autographed by Kathleen Turner. Um, it has some splitting at the seams. A uh, person was still very happy. Sold it for $45. Uh, I like Hollywood stuff. Uh, jackets, as I said, I do do jackets constantly. Um, this one sold really quick, um, $52. It's um, like a riding jacket. Uh, Tasha Palazzi is the name. Lizy, however you pronounce it. Here's a Vessi a Penn State jacket. This one sold really quick. I'm only up for a couple hours. $57.50. Um, sad iron. Um, I sell a lot of Mrs. Potts items, even the irons themselves. These always sell very well. Uh, you can see um, I got 66 for just the card. Um, 
World's Fair 1904. I haven't seen one of these before. Um, it was up for a while, uh, but I did end up selling it. I had to lower the price. I usually don't do that too much, but I think I had 75 on it and took 57.50. Um, these sell all the time. Um, I've got three or four of these right now, I think. Um, I just sold one of these the last month, too. Um, people passing by, they don't realize they're Disney, but this is for the tourist uh, organization in Florida from uh, late 50s, early 60s. Um, $27. Uh, dollars. I went to Japan. Um, again, I don't I include shipping, so everybody pays their own shipping. Whoever buys, they're paying shipping. Um, another good item. Um, it's been up for a little while, but you can see it went very well. Uh, it's a beer bottle label. Um, it's an original, 1890s. Uh, Cleveland Brown shirt. This one sold very quick. Um, I don't, again, this one went for 57.50. I don't know why it only says 75 or it says 75. Um, I sell these, this brand all the time. Rain, I guess it's Spooner, um, but they sell very well. Uh, nice label. Um, so there you go on that one. And this is a relic. Um, it actually has items sewn inside of it. Um, there's a swatch of fabric, um, some sticks. Uh, this is better than most. It's got multiple uh, charms sewn inside. Um, I got 75 out of it. It was up for a while, but they do sell. I do sell a lot of religious and Catholic items, so uh, look out for them as well. This was maybe a quarter out of a little bin. Maybe I didn't even pay for it. Some of the church sales and religious groups, when they have sales, don't charge for the religious items, um, but that's the way it is. So. Uh, Next item, these are just empty boxes for uh, the plates that would go in the old style cameras. $29.99. I bought a huge lot of camera equipment for $250. Um, I've gotten probably $1,400 return on my investment. Um, it just has to be uh, sorted and identified. A lot of little lenses and things I got in the lot, um, sold them individually. Uh, it took three or four hours to go through it. It was a huge lot, but it was worth the $1,400 I made. Um, let's see, Mall Madness. I sell every Mall Madness I get, uh, depending on the version. This is one of the original ones. Newer versions sell to, um, I think there's an 80s version that's even worth more than this, but I've sold one for 110 ish. Um, it was complete on Punched, but these sell very, very well. Uh, here's a John Deere. Um, this is actually uh, Victorian era. It's um, a four-panel card. They've been separated on two sides, but again, I still got sixty-six fifty. Um, and then record-wise, uh, this one was up for a while. It's kind of like a bootleg, but not uh, private pressed. I don't think they actually had permission to do this. Uh, maybe they did. A lot of the times they didn't, though. They just produced them on themselves. I originally had it for seventy-five. I ended up taking fifty-two fifty. Um, and the last item. Um, <laughs> Road Heaver, he's a religious person. Most of his stuff doesn't sell well at all. This, though, is his first um, album. It's a 78 album, uh, album number one. It's his own record label. He owns and did uh, Rainbow Records, but it also had a very rare 40 or uh, 8 by 10 real photo by him. Um, these don't show up very often at all. Uh, it originally came with it. Um, this is the only set I've ever seen with it, um, and I had 135. I ended up taking 94.50. Um, it was only up for say six weeks. Uh, good mover. The records were all NM minus. Um, I'm sorry, not NM E minus um, on these. Um, that would be the the record grading. Um, again, good movers. 78s. We sell a ton of them. This one I paid per record. I think there was uh, four records, so I paid four bucks for the album. Um, but a real good mover for us, even with the damage, just minor damage on the spine that could be repaired if the uh, buyer wanted to. But uh, there you go. There we go. There's some more of the items that we've sold on eBay. Um, we're going to be posting some more videos this week. I've uh, got a couple more haul videos coming up, some more things that we found. Um, I went to one of my pickers and picked up some more small items. Um, I'd like to show you some of those too in another video. Um, but again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and like my video, and please share to your friends. Thanks and have a good day.